Hello, welcome to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be doing something just a bit different. We're going to be looking at, at our theme deck, as we can see here. And we're going to be setting up uh, the Heroic Game Launcher for use within Steam and getting other games involved with Steam. Well, on your Steam Deck. Non-Steam games on your Steam Deck. Now, before we proceed any further into the video, I'd like to thank my channel member, Miss Love. They get early access to videos such as this one, like here. As well as a little badge next to the name of both videos and live streams that stand, make them stand out to other people. So why not join them? Anyway, on to the video. Now, as you can see here, this is Steam Deck. I'm, I'm, ha I'm having to uh, remote share the screen because unfortunately, um, screen recording functionality is there. It's just not quite. And also street remote control is there but not quite it's it's a, it's an interesting one we'll go into that in the future so what we have here we have our we've got steam deck and we have neo fetch i've had to get i've had to clone that separately but anyway neo fetch we've got an operating system we have one that works now why would we want a heroic browser well heroic allows for the addition of non-steam games in the form of epic game store or amazon game studios to be added uh onto what well, to be to be run on linux now what they also do is make it so it can actually be run on steam deck or well, specifically steam os and also used with the steam deck itself so what we're going to do is we've got a couple of choices we can either download the flat pack uh download the app image or get it from the software center itself. Now, because of the way that this is set up, uh, you have to get it from the software center itself, and that's just purely down to SteamOS. But it's not really bothered to me. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to open up the software center. Looks like a typical software center. This is an Arch Linux derivative after all, so if it looks familiar, it's probably because it's using uh, Arch, uh, it's a variation of Arch. So, what we're going to want is we're going to want Heroic. And then this is what we want. We want this one, not that one. I have... Okay, that is a photo. Why there's a photo available? I don't know. Anyway, this is what we, this is what we need. It is distributed by, by, by FlatHub. You can get it from FlatHub if you want, but in this case, we're just going to install it. Now, yes, indeed, I'm actually using my computer to get this running. So if, there is, if the image looks a bit funky, it's because the Ethernet cable I thought I had was fine. It is uh, evidently not fine. So I'm broadcasting this over <laughs> from wireless, from, from the Steam Deck to the router, through a switch to a switch to my computer and the fact that this is all happening pretty much instantly is pretty good so yeah swings and roundabouts so in the time it's taken me to talk about this it's just about downloaded pretty damn fast we don't have to worry about it so now that that is done take a sip of your drink in my case coffee this opens up and tells you what has become available. Now, what we actually want to do is ignore the hotfix, which reminds me I should probably update um, Heroic on my own computer. Yeah, I should update that. Anyway, what we want is we need to come into the settings here. And there is a choice. We can, we're going to go through the settings at another time if you wanted to, but it's just, ah, oh yes, here is... Here is everything. Now, one thing that we would like is uh, we'll leave the dark tray icon. We could touch uh, the rich present, if, rich presence if we wanted to. But here is the one that we want. Add games to Steam automatically. Now, this is important because without this, we can't actually, well, we can get access to them inside of Steam. But this just makes life significantly easier so now that we've done that we actually need to log in now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh quickly 
drag. Not that. Just going to quickly drag that away whilst I log into Epic. Because my Epic Games email is not the same as all uh, as any other emails because I decided to separate that out a while ago. There we go. Let's hope I put in the right password. Did I put in the right password? No, I did not. Go for having so many passwords. You think I should know this one by now? Am I? Bear with me. Yeah, so I put in the password wrong twice. Now, now that we've done that, we will throw in our authenticator, which is in Authy. It, trust me, it is worth having two-factor authentication. I have it for anything that will take it, just because um, I prefer the having the several layers of security. That's just me. Okay, now that we have done that, what we need to do is drag this back to here. And then full screen. So, we have our heroic. Now, if we decide to go, oh, I don't know, let's install something. Prison architect. I have prison architect. So we'll just go, yes, please install prison architect. And then get download size. Yeah, it's all good. This will actually download it, as we can see here. Prison architect is downloading, yada, yada. By the time it takes for... By the time the update disappears, this is finished downloading. Yeah, it's just that fast, which is pretty good. Now, we could, if we wanted to, start playing it right now. Fortunately, could find the wine version to launch. Default, would you like to use another one? Yes. Luckily for us, it will pick it up and run it straight away. However, you may have noticed, we're not in Steam desktop mode. We're in desktop mode. Why are we trying to run a game in not desk in desktop mode when we have access to um steam well it's a steam deck why are we not running it in steam os like this is steam os but you get the point um i do apologize for the flickering there's actually nothing i can do about that and where is it so here we go yes please i agree to the redistributables yada 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 Thank you. Of course, depending on the game, you'll get that the first time around. Don't worry about it. It's just a, hey, look, I don't know what I'm doing. So in this case, yes, we're just going to skip this because it's owned by Paradox. We know they're owned by Paradox. I d what, uh, I was about to say, what is a... Um, bear with me, yeah, I forgot, I, I, I thought I'd done the escape, it's not Prison Architect, either way, yes, I will allow, come on, so, any time it takes you to get this done, depending on your internet connection, of course, and the such, shouldn't, shouldn't take more than 10 minutes for a game like this, however, does this actually run? On. There we go. It's running, believe it or not. Now, the question is... <laughs> now, the interesting thing you may have... That I think will be rather interesting is... This has been installed... I don't know. This has now been installed and running. So let's let us go into the Steam desktop. Uh, unfortunately, we will lose the screen, but that is for those purposes fine. Um, da, 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 da. I can go away. That can go away. That can go away. You can go away. You can go away. And turn to gaming mode. Uh, I will just pop a little screenshot up afterwards. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. 
We knew that would happen. But once the Steam Deck catches up, I'll then just pop a little screenshot of, up of it running, and then we're, then we're good. Uh, I would expect some... Expect some videos in the future on this one. So, we have our trusty PS4 controller. What we're going to do is we're going to go to library. Not great on deck. Collections. Non-Steam. Prison Architect. And play. Now. Once it catch, catches it, I'll just actually... Uh, quickly take a screenshot. So what we want to do is press and hold that one because I forgot what the screenshot is. What is it? Is that one? That one. Oh, there we go. I'll just I'll show that on screen. Anyway, I want to go back to switch to desktop. And then once this has I woken, we should be good. Come on, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Not MU deck. I will cover a video on MU deck in the future because it is a really good bit of software and I actually rather enjoy it because it means I get to play um some games I like playing, such as Need for Speed Most Wanted Blacklist Edition and also uh, The Simpsons Hit and Run, which is actually a rather fun game. In my opinion, anyway. And we'll just look at this. There we go. Oh, God, that's bright. So, we have a functional system. It's alive. And it works. We've got functioning operating system, functioning games. And anything that is not based on Steam will run. So, for example, if you like, if you have things like Anno 1800 on, on Epic, but not Steam, like I do, you can then play it in the Epic version on your Steam device, which is actually pretty cool. So, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike. But that's in your work, even though you cannot see one of them. Remember, when you use Linux, don't panic. I have been Nick. You've been amazing, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.